Welcome back to another episode of Bernadette TV and this is the second in a three-part series that I've been doing about the three biggest mistakes that people make when it comes to their online business. So, mistake number two is thinking that everyone needs what you have to offer. There is an old saying that you should find a need, fill it and that is the path to riches but it's not actually true. What you want to do is find a want and meet that want and that is the true path to riches and here's why people don't always buy what they need they buy what they want think about it like people need to stop smoking but do they no there's plenty of people that are still out there smoking showing that people invest in what they want more than they invest in what they need so um, you want to give them what they want but deliver what they need so just remember that your customers, your prospects, they're real people just like you and I and they get turned off or turned on by the same things that you and I do. So when it comes to filling wants you need to look at things like convenience, saving money, saving time or it could be um, other emotional wants like looking more attractive or, um, or being more attractive or making more money. So the truth is you can never really know what is going to be the hot button, the buying button. What you have to do is test lots of different um, hot buttons to see which gets the best response for your audience. And you might even find that inside of your audience that there's a portion of your audience that responds to hot button this, where there's another one that responds to hot button of convenience. So you'll, you'll find that as you test with your audience. So be as specific as you possibly can. You want to identify um, the key challenges or problems faced by your target audience and then show them specifically how your solution, your product or your service, your program is the answer um, to those specific challenges. How do you uncover the real wants and desires? Well, it's really good news because you do it by using a skill you already have. It's called listening and you will find that your audience is telling you all the time, right, either in direct conversation with you or through conversations on social media or other places, they'll be telling you what their challenges are. Now, a lot of the time, you'll hear people talk about what they don't want. So they'll be saying things like, it's too much, it's too expensive, it's too time consuming, but stick with it and keep asking questions to delve underneath and find out what they truly want. And as much as possible, you match your offering to meet that want, and that, my friend, is the path to riches online. So I hope this has helped you, and um, I'd love to hear your comments on this episode. Make sure that you stay tuned for next week, where I'll be covering the third of the three marketing mistakes that people make online. I look forward to seeing you back then. If you like this video and you want more, the good news is I got plenty more where that came from. The first step for you see that button down there big red button subscribe subscribe subscribe